Hi there, welcome, this is Shruti and on this channel, I share my tips on how to grow your audience and income online. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to make money with affiliate marketing using Pinterest as a free traffic source. Now, affiliate marketing is simply put promoting others' products and services to make a commission. This is one of the fastest ways to make money online, even though it can be quite complicated to understand and get started with. So my hope is that by the end of this video, you have an idea of how you can use affiliate marketing as an income stream in your life, specifically by using Pinterest to promote these products and to generate sales and commissions. So without further delay, let's dive in. Step number one is to join an affiliate marketing program that you find interesting and that you also believe is going to do well on Pinterest. Now, generally speaking, programs in the lifestyle niche, such as fashion, beauty, health, home decor, food, and everything that you know falls in the lifestyle niche tends to do quite well on Pinterest. So as a beginner, that is where I would start. So one of the places you can use is called Share a Sale, and there are tons of other platforms you can use to find affiliate marketing programs as well. There is ClickBank, there's Digi, Digi Store, there is Rakuten Marketing, there is CJ Affiliate, there is so many other platforms where you can find also different interesting programs. So let's keep things simple and just start with one affiliate marketing program so you can get an idea of how you can get started of promoting these things on Pinterest and making money by affiliate marketing on Pinterest. So I'm going to take the example of Dollar Tree, which is going to be in the home and garden niche. Again, this is one of the most popular niches on Pinterest and hence is a great place to start in case you are brand new to Pinterest. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the website of the particular company and really try to understand what it is that they are selling. What is their unique selling point? What is it that you need to be creating in order to lure people in to get these products as well? So as you can see, these are essentially cheap products that they sell specifically in the arts, DIY and decor niche, which you can buy for events as well as for kids, for classroom stuff, etc. And when you click through, you can also get an idea of the price points of these products. So as you can see, the price point of the product seems to be on the lower end. But that's also one of the reasons why they tend to do so well, because when people buy in bulk, they're able to also get more money off of it. Now, again, a Dollar Tree seems to be more of a wholesaler where you can buy things only in bulk. But you can also find other websites which are doing similar things and then see how you can promote them. Now, once you've figured out this is the program that you want to create and you have understood their terms and conditions, so you can go here, you can go on get links and really understand what this program is all about. You can see what are their different links that are available and you can really see what are the different options with which you can promote them. So let's say that you want to promote Summer Essentials, you can click on get HTML code and you can either copy and paste the HTML code if you're using a website and a widget to promote the link or you can go on select URL only and you can just copy paste this URL to any of the future pins that you're going to create. Now, once we have done this and we have joined the program, as you can see, I didn't have to apply for this program, but there are certain programs that you will have to apply and give them the reason why they should accept you. So once you're accepted, you're going to have access to all of the links that you can promote. And of course, you can filter them by different links, by different categories and so on and so forth as well. Now, once we have an idea that this is a website which is selling lots of DIY products, I'm going to go and do a little bit of research about this website on Pinterest itself. So let's head on over to Pinterest and their profile to understand what it is that this company is doing and how are they promoting their own products to get an idea of how we can do the same thing. So as you can see, they have about 2.9 million monthly views. So they obviously have an audience. And as you can see, they have a lot of long form pins. So most of their pins tend to be either this category, which is a combination of lots of different pins. And when you click through to it, you will see that it is actually a web, a, a blog post that they have created about DIY home decor fridge magnets. And that is where they have, you know, included all of these products. So as you can see, there's a step-by-step -step tutorial instruction kind of thing, and that's how they have linked to it. So all of the images that you find on the blog post, they have created here as well. And what you will also see is that they're sometimes linked directly to the, uh, you know, the image as well. So instead of having a long sort of image, they also have just one image that they've linked, which is also usually leading either to the product page or to the department or category page here as well. So as you can see, they have even listed their links to the department pages as well. 
So as you can see, they have a mix of content. They have content which is directly linked to web pages. So on sales pages, and then they have content which is blog posts, which are giving you information about how to use the products. And then when you understand that, obviously the natural next step is to buy. What's also interesting is to look at the bots that they have and what are they actively pinning to and understand what's the kind of audience that's going to be interested in these topics, right? So as you can see, there is weddings and events, which of course is a very popular all year round evergreen sort of category. Then there's fall and Thanksgiving, DIY parties, school days, organizing and cleaning. And you can really get an idea of the types of categories that they, you know, kind of cater to. All right. So once you've identified exactly which affiliate program you are interested in promoting and you have figured out what is the strategy that you're going to use to create your account, the next step really is to create your business account. Now, due to the interest of time, I'm not going to go into the details of creating your business account in this video because I have a ton of videos about this on my channel. So just search my channel for how to create your business account and you will get all the steps to do the same. Once you have done that, you are going to be optimizing your account in order to create pins that will then drive clicks to the products that you're promoting and which will then further lead to conversions and commissions and sales to your account. So let me show you the quickest way to do the same. Okay, so once your Pinterest account is created, we obviously want to promote the articles that we just joined the affiliate program for. This is where Canva is going to be your best friend. And I'm going to leave all the links to the tools that I use down below in the video so you can go and check them out. Now, here's where we're going to be designing pins to promote these products so that people can actually find them on Pinterest and click on them and then generate a sale, which would then further generate you a commission. So I've actually done the research to find some pins in the home decor category. And as you can see, there are tons of you know things that you can create. Let's say that you create five pins to start with, and I'm just going to use templates to you know save us time. But of course, you can design them as much as you want and kind of see how you can you know go about it. Again, I use Canva Pro, so I have access to you know a much higher quality of designs, but you can get started with the free program as well. However, if you have a little bit of room in your budget, I would highly recommend getting Canva Pro because it really does improve the quality of your pins a lot. Now, obviously, here is where you're going to change the images to the images that you have from your affiliate products. And you can find those on share a link, share a sale as well, which is the affiliate program that we used. You're going to swap the images for the images that you have, and you are going to give a call to action. So let's say $1 party supplies is the call to action. And then you can add the link here on, you know, um, get now, which is again, another call to action. And then you can edit and change these pins to make sure that these are aligned to what you want to be promoting on Pinterest. Now, as I said, the best way for you to get inspiration of how to create content that's going to work is to go and check out what other people in the similar niche are doing. For example, check out the website of Dollar Tree, check out other bloggers who are promoting Dollar Tree or other website owners who are using this affiliate program and see what types of pins are they creating. So for example, you could just go to a DIY, you know, arts and crafts type of blogger and see what kinds of pins they are creating and take inspiration from that. Now, if you want to go one step further, you can actually start creating idea pins and video pins to promote your affiliate content. This is hands down one of the best ways to get more eyeballs and stand out on Pinterest and on any other platform that you plan to promote your affiliate products on. So I have opened a website here in the same niche that we were discussing, which is DIY home decor. And you can see that she has tons of idea pins where she walks through how she basically, you know, uses these tools that she's I'm guessing also promoting as an affiliate. For example, this is an easy Dollar Tree laundry room art. She has just uploaded pictures in the form of an idea pin and then tagged those products in those idea pins, as well as tagged all of the info in the notes section here as well. What this does is that it pops up your profile to a lot of new users and gets you a lot of traction going on your account. So specifically, if you're getting started with affiliate marketing, I would highly recommend experimenting with idea pins. Even if you just, you know, upload photos and add some text, save them as idea pins and promote them by tagging the products that you are promoting within those idea pins as well. And when you go further down on the website, you'll see that she also has lots of long form video, uh, long form pins, which essentially just show the product in the center and then have a DIY wood block ribbon candy corn. Now, as I said, there are various ways to be promoting 
affiliate products, you can either be promoting them directly to the sales page of the particular affiliate, which again, you have to check if that's allowed. If yes, that's a great way to promote that as well. And another way to promote it is by having your existing or your own private blog slash website where you create in-depth articles about what the product can do and how you can use this product. And that's also one of the better ways to get more conversions on your affiliate marketing programs as well as more sales. So as you can see, Woodblock Ribbon Candy Con, she has, you know, a step-by-step -step process. It's not even a very long blog post. She just has photos of how to use them and how you can kind of create that. And that's it. Like it's literally not even 500 words, but what it does is that it gives your end consumer an idea of and of how they can use the product. And when they're able to imagine what that product will look like in their house or in their life, they are much more likely to convert into sales instead of not. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go into depth of how to start a website and all of that because there are tons of videos on my channel about it. So feel free to go to my playlist and check out how to set up your blog, your website and all of that stuff. It's actually quite easy and costs you less than $5 a month. So if you're serious about affiliate marketing with Pinterest, you should absolutely look into generating your own blog posts, even if they are something like this, really small and to the point. And as you can see, this um, account on Pinterest, Refabbed, has 8.5 million monthly views. So there's obviously a lot of traction on her blog as well as on her pins. And if you're able to get this kind of traction, you can really generate a sustainable income a couple of thousand dollars every single month from Pinterest affiliate marketing. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.